Short. The, 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 well, this is the fucking hammering. The thing that you know, the thing that is that was like the hammering home. Like, you, like one of the best stand-up, uh, like five ten minute sets I've ever seen. Have you ever seen Bernie Mac when he came out and oh, and I'm not a, you know, I, I'm not. Yeah, I ain't scared of you, motherfuckers. Sc- yeah, hit that and then boom, 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 boom. Yeah, I ain't scared of you, you motherfuckers. You don't scare me. Yeah. You, Patrice told me about that. What? Patrice told me was told me the was. The, like, but to watch just, that? Well, no, he just told me about it for years because we came up in the 90s before, like, you know, the internet was just a bunch of computer nerds, I don't know, playing ping pong. I don't know what the fuck it was at that point. Yeah, and sports lines. But but you you couldn't, uh, there was no, YouTube was still 10 years away. So he told me about that and was basically saying the same kind of thing, that a bunch of guys were getting booed off stage. And Hamburger Jones was the one before him, I think. Is that his last name? Hamburger Jones. Hamburger. Right? Hamburger. Yeah. So, uh he told me that he came out and was like, you don't scare me, New York. I'm not yeah. afraid of you and all that type of stuff. And so that's the thing. Like, but, the, but, that, that, but, that's why like, I get undue credit for the Philly thing. It's just like the Philly thing happened right when YouTube happened. So, so there was somebody there to document it where like Bernie Mac, rest his soul, had already done it. No, 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 no. It's, it's the thing that I pulled out from both of them was you, you had the – you had the I ain't scared of you motherfuckers in that fucking seven minutes. Seven, when you did that, that's the part where you get chills because you go like at one point you're saying it as in this is I got I got ten more minutes like oh fuck and then at one point you're like I got like you're almost reveling in the fact that I have seven more minutes to make fun of you like it's and it's it's the same. I was never reveling. It might look like I was, but I wasn't. Oh, fuck it, it. I, I had a fucking headache at the end of it, and I was. Uh, like two days afterwards, I was still I was locked. You ever hear like when they say somebody has uh, uh, his he 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 had a he had a a death grip. Yeah, you know, like I remember hearing this hilarious story. I remember watching this with my mother, and we were laughing our asses off the way this guy <laughs> described this. This fucking these two guys are flying like a Cessna, and they hear this rattle in the back and it's the fucking door in the back one of those old school doors that you you it like this you open it and the stairs are also on the door remember yeah. those yeah and they'd flip down so he went to go shut it the fucking <laughs> thing flew open <laughs> so the pilot's up there like oh my god my friend just got sucked out of the plane <laughs> and then he's also thinking <laughs> he's thinking how am i gonna land this fucking thing because the door hangs down lower. I think it hangs down lower than, than the wheels. Yeah. So long story short, he fucking lands the damn thing. And he's wiping tears away. And he fucking gets to the back stairs. And there's his buddy. Feet still in the plane. Head down at the bottom of the stairs. Holding on to the fucking the banister thing. And he's talking to him, and the guy's not saying shit. So he had he had to step over him, and the fucking paramedics got there, and they had to talk to him for twenty minutes. They go because he had a death grip. It's just like your body overrides whatever that is that makes your muscles tired. The last grip it had is don't let go, motherfucker. And like he was there for like forty five minutes. My mother, we were crying. They didn't, they didn't tell it as, as colorful as I did. All, this is how funny my family is. All they just said was, yeah, it took us a half hour to uh, get him to let go of the stairs because he had what's known as a death grip. And we just fucking, you just saw the whole thing just oh. roaring. You saw the pilot standing there like, oh. Jerry, Jerry, it's okay now. Jerry and him just fucking still mentally at 30,000 feet or whatever. I guess you couldn't be that high. You wouldn't be able to breathe, but... So, um, so, anyways, I had like mental oh. <laughs> version. Like I was walking around New York and I was looking at people and just thinking insults. And I, I'm not joking. It took me like four, it was mentally <laughs> traumatic. It was not funny. No, dude, I had a headache. <laughs> Thank you. 
This episode was brought to you by The Machine.